So Josh, thanks for being here. Sure. What are the differences between uh, a large drone like the Phantom and one of these rinky dink, I found this in a Cracker Jack box drone? What is the difference? Obviously the size. size. <laughs> we, I think that goes without saying. We've covered size already, yes. Yeah, but so. what, like, am I really missing out on something cool by just having this little little guy here? Um, it all depends on what you want to do with your drone. So, I, yeah, what do I want to do with my drone? Flying around your living room, hitting your cat in the head, that's the one you want. Right, so so pet abuse is yes. what this is mainly yeah. used yeah. for. Well, I mean, that and you know, child, child abuse. Oh, that goes without saying as well, yeah. of course. Just scare um, all the cats away yeah. with the drone. Of course. Yeah. Um, but that one's, it one's a toy, no camera on that one. Right. Um, and uh, that one in particular is made to roll up walls or also just fly. Right. Okay, that's cool. That's an interesting design. Yeah. I like that. So uh, you got ones like that that are tiny and don't... Uh, don't do all that much. Right. Um, and then you move up and you got other ones like I've got this one here. Okay. That one there. What's this? Um, that is the Sky Viper. Sky uh, Viper. Sky Viper. Snakes can't fly. Uh, V2400 HD. Should I not plug it has this a in? H you can plug it in. It's not going to do anything. Oh, okay. Um, but well, it might blink. Uh, anyway. Uh, that one's got a camera, it flies up in the air, that's a little bit more outdoorsy. Okay. Uh, you fly that around your yard. Um, you can fly it around your house too, uh, depending on the size of your house, I guess. Right. Um, so what am I getting with like, you know, everyone sees these vloggers and everybody, they're rocking that Phantom. Right. That so thing's a lot of money. The fan yeah, the, it's a lot of money because it has a lot more tech in it. Yeah. Um, it's got a much better camera. Um, Stabilization for indoors, okay. so that you can fly it, and you don't need. Normally, you would need GPS signal outdoors in order to keep it hovering in place and not just flying off. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what you get with like the Phantoms. Um, you get better stabilization, better features, uh, ability to set it up and fly a flight path. Are they harder to fly? Uh, no, actually, they tend to be easier to so fly. So the bigger, because they the easier it is to fly. Well, I mean, here, this one is big, um, but it's essentially a toy. Right. Um, it doesn't have, a, I don't know if they can see mm. that. Oh, yeah, they can yeah, see that. Right. Mm -hmm. so, Look at that thing. Look at this. You got that. Um, it, this is essentially a toy. It's a, it's a larger drone. It comes with a, a HD camera on it. Okay. Um, but it doesn't, it's not... It's not going to have that. that yeah, I'll hold this. Um, so it's not going to have that stabilization. <laughs> right. It's not going to be stabilized. The camera's fixed, so you can't do anything. You can't like pan and tilt it. Right. Is that um, a GoPro on there or no? No, no this is called is a... Mike. This is a fake ass GoPro. <laughs> fake That's GoPro. What this is called. No, I, that keeps it in the toy realm when it's not a full fledged camera. Well, no. I mean, it's a full fledged camera, but I mean that is not. It's a faux pro. It, it's mm -hmm. not a great quality. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's a faux pro. Faux pro. There you faux go. Pro. Faux pro. I'm just going to wear this on my face the rest of the show. I like that. But again, this doesn't have GPS in it, although it's the same, nearly the same size as a Phantom. It doesn't yeah. have GPS in right. it. Right. doesn't have anything. It doesn't have like the Phantom doesn't 4. It doesn't have anything. <laughs> it doesn't well, have it doesn't, anything. It doesn't really. The Phantom 4 has got like collision avoidance. And, does it really? Yeah. How does it do that? It's got sensors in front so that... Uh, it's got airbags, basically. Not airbags, no. Not yet, yet. No. Virtual airbags, maybe. Does it have a parachute? No, it does not. There are drones with parachutes. There are, well, there are drones that you can attach parachutes to that that will If If I have deploy. a Phantom, Phantoms are like 1500 bucks, right? Uh, not really. We, I mean, that highest end one, I okay. think it's like 13 yeah. So 13 I'm putting a parachute on my $1,300 drone. Okay. If it just like falls out of the sky, I'd like it to. Well, ideally, it shouldn't gingerly. just fall out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. So, like, how does that ha do? Ha do drones have like fail safes that prevent them from falling out of the sky? Because I feel like, what if the, the battery craps out? Well, I mean, yeah, the 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 whole idea with the Phantoms is that it's constantly giving you feedback on the on what's going on with its flight. Okay. So. Uh, if the battery starts to get low, it's telling you that yeah. your battery's getting low. You don't have to worry about that. So this is a great episode because I don't I don't know crap about drones. <laughs> He's searching for the curse word. Huh? I was gonna say <laughs> a different word, but then I realized where we were. We so, already have, by the way, Raj in our chat wondering if any of these chats can be any of these drones can be used for 
covert operations. Covert the operations? The word he used is, uh, first he said stalking, then he said Area 51. What? Which is a little ridiculous, but are it, uh, drones in general are pretty noisy, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they're loud. Uh, I can, you can fly one 200 feet up and still hear it. So. Really? Yeah, they're not, they're not quiet. That's why, and besides, they well, all have... Well, neither are helicopters. Yeah, so. well, and for the most part, they all have really wide-angle lenses on them, as you know. As you go uh, further away with a wide-angle lens, the things in the get smaller and smaller right, and smaller. Right, right. It's not like they have all zoom lenses sure. that you can fly up 200 feet and then, sure. you know, zoom in on somebody. Okay. And if you're flying 20 feet above somebody, shooting them in their backyard pool, you know, then they're, they're, they're going to know. know about They're going to know. They're going to yeah. be like, oh, someone's creeping out. Yeah, and they're going to take a broom and knock it down. And, and then probably report the authorities. Or maybe shoot it with a shotgun like I've read, too. Yeah, sure. You um, can do that. So do we have to register, like, which, what kind of drone do, do I need to register if I live in the U.S.? So it's not the drone you're registering. You're, you're registering yourself as a drone owner. A droner. A droner. A droner. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think that, that's a thing, but now it is. It was, um, we coined it here. So uh, anything, basically any drone over um, 0.55 pounds. So anything over a half a pound, you, you have to register with the FAA. Why, why is it a weight thing? Um, oh, I guess because because like, if it falls from the sky or flies into somebody, I guess right. I don't okay. know. That's okay. just what they went with. This is over. This is probably a pound. That feels heavy. Yeah. Feels like a so pound. Um, so yeah, you probably in order to fly that, you'd have to register yourself with the FAA and throw a. Um, you have to throw your. You get a little number. From right. A registration number you throw there on the drone or on oh, the battery. Oh really? Or, okay. Um, just something fixed inside the drone. You can like put it in the battery cavity or whatever. But. Keenan wants us to fly the drone, but that would not work out well in this small studio in um, a fake living room. No. I feel we like could. we could do, we could do it. Do you want to just take You go it? for it. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Can this guy? No. Why not that guy? Because we This one might knock over everything. Start it up, but you're going to do some damage with this All one. All right. I've seen you fly, friend. And, what do I do? Uh, Power on? <laughs> no, don't. Don't do it? <laughs> don't do that one. Let's do Let, the tiny one for you. Let's do the tiny ass one. The tiny one with the cage on it. Yeah, the one with the... Uh, with the. So go ahead, turn it on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate this little... There we go. All right, put it down on the floor. On the floor? Yeah, put it on the floor. All right. Mahabit is specializing that uh, it's a quadcopter, not a drone. Is there a major difference? Uh, so, yeah, it's a common thing with... Um, with the uh, people who want to argue such things. Yeah, no, technically, I guess it's not a drone. What'd you do? I hit the button. Oh, boy. Oh. You weren't supposed to hit any buttons. It's just supposed to take off? And on this week's anyway. opening tab, you will have a lot of buzzing <laughs> so all episode long. So how, how does this work? How do I take off? Um, huh? How do well, I take I don't off? know now. I don't, okay, what'd you do? I hit buttons. It's not moving. Oh, drones. Up. Oh. oh. Okay. There it goes. What how can I Oh. <laughs> Man, you know the having the the ball there is kind of great. All right. Well, yeah. it wanted well, to leave. Well, it's gone now. So. It's, <laughs> it is gone now. And that's the story of drones. Uh, basically, you fly them until they disappear into a tree. Right. Um, and that might be why so you, anyway, you don't you fly saying, them on a live show. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you were saying, what was the question you had? A uh, quadcopter. Oh, right. Quadcopter drone. Yes. Technically, it's a quadcopter, multi-rotor, UAV, whatever you want to call it. The, the Basically, everybody decided to call it a drone mm. and for marketing purposes drone works really well than yeah. you know as opposed to UAV which yeah. you have to explain every and time and that's like more of like a militaristic thing yeah but i mean i don't know i it's they're all they're drones they're so drones. they're all inter <laughs> interchangeable terminology yeah and i don't will. know that oh look somebody oh, he came back. back to us he came back and went under <laughs> oh i got him <laughs> so there you go Jeff. Can put it down. okay i'll put it i'm going to fly from here Oh boy! There it goes. <laughs> Man, the bouncing part is kind of great. Is there? Um, Vin is commenting he hates uh, short flight time with these toy drones. Do you find that with some of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. Um, they're all basically <laughs> like a little mosquito. <laughs> it's like a little ridic <laughs> or it's ridiculous. Well, now it's stuck. Okay. Well, and this is why we don't fly. In the uh, I'll get it. Fair enough. But you. 
<laughs> My producer's um, got it. Oh, how about another? I have anyway, another wait. No, wait. Before your question, sure. let's answer the person's question. Uh, short right. battery life. <laughs> right, short battery life. So these are all um, all the toy ones. Is it? No, it's... It's doing stuff. Yeah, it's upset. Um, battery life. Shut that off. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, the little ones, they all last anywhere from five to eight minutes. Which is nothing. No, and a lot of them, I mean, it all depends on the model. This one's got a removable battery. Some of them don't. I, I go for the ones with removable batteries because they tend to be inexpensive sure. anyway. So and you can maybe you can, carry a couple with you. Yeah, so yeah. you get like 20 minutes of flight out okay. of it instead of five. I mean, that's the, that's the main problem with a lot gotcha. of them. So if you want to fly a drone, like flying a kite, it's probably good to have, if you have the ability to have multiple batteries. Oh boy. Do they uh, uh, yes. charge off a, whoa. <laughs> whoa. This thing, this is a lot All of fun. Right. This one's a lot of fun. It goes, it goes, it's crazy. Yeah. Can you charge them off a, like a battery pack, like with a yep. cell phone? Absolutely. Um, it's totally doable. Joe, where are you with the camera? <laughs> oh, I'm doing real good with this guy. The Oh See, boy. so when you flew, Michael actually had the opportunity oh. to fly. Oh! <laughs> the exact same one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Who catches their own drone? <laughs> this one's fun, man. Can I have it? Uh, after, after I'm done reviewing it. Yeah, I guess. Well, there you go. This is like, I feel like... Uh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> propellers <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I broke the drone. So if somebody wants a toy drone versus a professional drone, what do you think is the, 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 the customer level? Who, who would want what? Uh, I, th I think, in general, most people want both. Mm -hmm. um, the toy ones are nice because they're cheap. Yeah. Um, it also helps you learn how to fly without blowing a thousand bucks and crashing it into a tree. Totally. Been um, there. You've, you've crashed it. Been, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe it wasn't mine. Oh, somebody else? We don't have oh. to talk about All that. Right. Well, fine. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get one. I think this this one in front of us is like a uh, hundred hundred dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. you get that, you fly that around the park for a little bit, and you realize, okay, I'm ready to move up to something more serious. Hmm. And flying this one is a lot more, like we said earlier, it's a lot more difficult than flying a Phantom, because those do just about they they're so stable and can fly themselves basically right um, that's cool and they're they're you know as far as drones go they're they're really easy sorry, quadcopters quadcopters uh they're right <clears throat> they're easy to set up and start flying right away as long as you somewhat technic tech savvy okay fair enough